My name is Elias Logan. I'm an authentic ancient Greek, Roman, and biblical coin and artifact dealer. I sell my coins through my website, trustedcoins.com. Let me show you the benefits you get from getting the item from me. Every item you get comes with a gorgeous certificate of authenticity, a lifetime guarantee of authenticity, my signature. Let me tell you how many coins I have identified. Over 28,000. So I'm pretty much an expert in this field. The coin comes in a professional protective uh, case, a short description of it so that you could take this part off and carry it around with you. Uh, the professional description of the item, many times citing a major reference or collection. And on the back of the certificate, you get the historical context of the item you purchased. So even if you are brand new, you've never had a coin before, you don't even know what Greece is or Rome is, you, you're safe with me. So visit my site, Trust the Coins, you can even make offers. Today I'm going to be discussing the topic of serpents on coins, on coins of ancient Romans and the Greeks. Like this would be an example of a Roman provincial coin. It features a coiled serpent. It's actually from one of the items in my store. I printed it out. Now let me tell you a little bit about the different histories that serpents played in ancient history. Coiled serpents and coins. Greek city of Pergamum, Roman emperors such as Septimius, uh, Severus, Caracalla, Commodus, Macrinus, the Dominion, used images of coiled serpents, especially on the reverse on their coins of the provincial mints. Serpents figured prominently in archaic Greek myths. Ophion, serpent, ruled the world with Yuri Nome before the two of them were cast down by Cronus and Rhea. The oracles of the ancient Greeks were said to have been the continuation of the tradition begun with the worship of the Egyptian cobra Wajet. The Minoan snake goddess brandished the serpent in either hand, perhaps evoking her role as a source of wisdom. The infant Hercules also brandished the two serpents, serpents that threatened him in his cradle. Typhon, the enemy of the Olympian gods, is described as a vast grisly monster with hundred heads and a hundred serpents issuing from the thighs. He was a, a catonic figuration of volcanic forces. Among his children was Ichnida, our Cerberus, a monster three-headed dog with a snake for a tail and a serpentine mane. The serpent-tailed chimera, the serpent-like Chthonic uh, water beast Larnaean Hydra and hundred headed serpent dragon Ladon. Both the Larnaean Hydra and Ladon were slain by Hercules. Python was the earth dragon of Delphi, was the Chthonic uh, enemy of Apollo who slew her and remade her former home with own oracle, the most famous in classical Greece. Amphi's Baena was ant-eating serpent with a head at each end. According to Greek mythology, the myth mythological Amphi's Baena was spawned from the blood that dripped from Medusa the Gorgon's head as Perseus flew over the Libyan desert with her head in his hand. Medusa and other Gorgons were vicious female monsters with sharp fangs and hair of living venomous were the protectors of the most ancient ritual secrets. The Gorgons wore a belt of two intertwined serpents in the same con configuration of the Caduceus. The Gorgon was placed at the highest point and central of the relief on the Parthenon. Asclepius, the son of Apollo, and Coronis learned the secrets of keeping death at bay after observing one serpent bringing another, which Asclepius himself had fatally uh, wounded healing herbs. To prevent the entire human race from becoming immortal under Asclepius' care, Zeus killed him with a thunderbolt of lightning. In honor of Asclepius, snakes were often used in healing rituals. Non-poisonous snakes were left to crawl on the floor in dormitories where the sick and injured slept. Athena gave Asclepius a vial of blood from the Gorgons. Gorgon blood had magical properties. If taken from the left side of the Gorgon, it was a fatal poison. From the right side, the blood was capable of bringing the dead back to life. 
Lao Kun was allegedly a priest of Poseidon at Troy. He was famous for warning the Trojans in vain against accepting the Trojan horse from the Greeks. And for his subsequent divine execution, Poseidon, some say Athena, who was supporting the Greeks, subsequently sent sea serpents to strangle Laocon and his two sons, Antiphantes and Thimbraeus. Olympias, the mother of Alexander the Great, had the reputation of a snake handler. Aetes, the king of Colchis and father of sorceress Medea, possessed the golden fleece. He guarded it with a massive serpent that had never slept. Medea, who had fallen in love with Jason of the Argonauts, enchanted it to sleep so Jason could seize the fleece. So, interesting history and buy authentic ancient coins. Just look at them at trustedcoins.com. Thank you.